The only surprise about the Meghan Markle Emily Giffen controversy was that it didn't happen sooner. Emily Giffen is a famous writer. Emily Giffen is the best selling author who wrote Something Borrowed, and it was adapted into a movie in 2011. And she's a known royal watcher. This is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Uh, and I really want to look at the public's reaction. Uh, Meghan Markle didn't show us live video of Archie since uh, the Desmond Tutu Simba moment in South Africa. So literally the first time that the public saw live video of Archie was in South Africa, not in England. And people were kind of really upset about that. And we have not seen live video of Archie again until now. Okay, and she had to show us live video and it's his birthday. So if she didn't show us live video, the public was gonna go nuts. Okay, the, the people of the Commonwealth, the British people, they feel invested and you know people are saying well there is no archie you know she doesn't have a baby it's all just smoke and mirrors uh so she did show us a baby and there's a firestorm erupting anyway and this is a big part of the firestorm so let's take a look on wednesday okay so she wrote a an instagram emily giffen uh instagrammed she has eighty-five thousand followers and she writes a lot about the Queen, Prince William, Catherine, uh, Prince Harry, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. But on Wednesday, her thoughts sparked backlash after she called Meghan unmaternal and phony after watching the video that the couple released on their son Archie's first birthday. There's no evidence that Harry was there. We didn't see Harry. She didn't mention Harry. We heard a disembodied voice in the background. We heard Archie say, da, da, da. But she didn't... Uh, say oh he's that's harry or mention harry she said that's right duck rabbit she kept bringing it back to the book in the clip which urged donations to save the children's covid 19 fund okay and that's another thing the royals show off their beautiful children kate and william but they don't ask for donations for anything and this was specifically asking for a donation so that might make people uncomfortable megan held a squirming archie in her lap and read a picture book called Duck Rabbit, while Harry was allegedly behind the camera. In most, multiple Instagram stories, Giffen slammed the Duchess, she misspelled her name throughout, for turning the video into The Megan Show, adorable child and book. But holy me first, Giffen wrote, why didn't she film and let Harry read? Good question. She posted a text message exchange with a friend who called the former suit star a joke and told Giffen, I feel so sorry for that little boy. Giffen published an image of the video and wrote, Happy birthday, Archie. Go away, Megan. The now deleted stories were captured and tweeted by royally obsessed podcast co-host co -host, Caitlin Menza. I used to listen to that a lot. Who wrote, Man, oh man, does something borrowed author Emily Giffen hate Meghan Markle? Caitlin Menza is a huge, she's a sugar. Everything Meghan and Harry do, they love it, okay? Uh, Emily Giffen was initially a huge fan of Meghan Markle and Harry and the fact that she married into the royal family, and she's turned. And we need to, I want to look at if she has, you know, Meghan Markle derangement syndrome, that literally everything Meghan does, she just hates it now because she's just turned against her. And that's how people are. It takes a lot to turn them against you, but once they turn against you, it takes a lot to bring them back still reading furious comments poured in as it was retweeted more than 1500 times so the firestorm kicked off when caitlin menza retweeted it many dubbed giffen a cyber bully and tagged her publisher news sites quickly picked up the firestorm so it went viral as others accused her of locking down her social media account to dodge negative comments so giffen not locked down her social media Although it's unclear when her Twitter account was locked, her Instagram was already set to private before Wednesday. After hours of this, Giffen released a statement and apologized. She noted that she posts dozens of Instagram stories in a very honest, unfiltered way to have conversation with, conversations with her readers and has long been interested in the British monarchy. God bless her. While at first she was thrilled with the Harry and Meghan coupling, Quote, I absolutely loved that a biracial American woman was marrying into the royal family. 
she said. Her feelings changed over recent months, alluding to the company couple's bombshell decision to step back as senior royals and move to America. So what I really want to look at is how does the public feel? Because irregardless of what the truth is, it's kind of more about how the public is going to react to what Megan says uh, and does and what Emily, what they think Emily Giffen is really doing. It's not really about the truth, it's about the reaction to what's going on. Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of Royal Tea. This is the the retweet or the Insta tweet that Caitlin Menza of Royally Obsessed did. That This is what went viral. Man oh man, does something borrowed M author Emily Giffen hate Meghan Markle? And here's, uh, you know, a snap, a snip of the video with Archie. It was also so sad how she, she seemed slightly annoyed Archie wasn't fully cooperating. So Archie was fidgeting. fidgeting. He's one for crying out loud. Uh, and this says, completely. I feel sorry for that little boy. She seemed so unmaternal. Yes, very fake and forced. I was, it was uncomfortable. She's such a phony. She's an actress. She's playing a part. Uh, and here, adorable child in book, but holy me first. This is The Megan Show. Why didn't she film and let Harry read? And why did she take the moment at the end to say, he said, daddy? Why didn't she say, he said, daddy? Because he said, you know, Archie said, da, 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 da. And it's because that would have made, made it about Harry for a split second, God forbid. Also, you want your privacy for your child, so you put out a video by your authorized biographer of him wearing no pants? Okay. So, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. She needed to put out uh, a live video of Archie, and she did. Uh, and it's, it's kicked up a firestorm. So what's really going on with Emily Giffen, this famous author? You know, and she's wise. In order to be a famous anything, you have to be a social media person as well. And she is. So, she, you know, she's figured out all that stuff. I have a book. I might have a couple. But anyway, does she, you know, what's going on? Does Emily Giffen have Meghan Markle derangement syndrome? Does she just hate everything Meghan does? I mean, because Meghan can't win at this point. Oh, that's interesting. And there's the Ten Hearts. I, you know, previous readings on this said we were going to get a huge emotional reaction, Ten Hearts. Uh, and, you know, every time I read on this situation, we're getting the Ten Hearts just overflowing. This went viral. That's a Ten, that's a ten Hearts moment. Okay, so does, what's going on? Does Emily uh, give... Emily Giffen, does she just like, she has Megan derangement syndrome or, or what's going on? Scapegoat. Okay. So it's definitely, she doesn't, she's not a sugar anymore. She started out as a sugar. She loved Meghan Markle and Harry. She just loved it. She loved that Meghan uh, married into the royal family, but not anymore. She really doesn't. Okay. And it's going to take a lot to change that. So she's kind of committed to not loving Meghan Markle, and she she's very emotional about it. So the basis of this is her emotions. She's decided she kind of is someone who has Meghan Markle derangement syndrome, just like people who have Trump derangement syndrome. No matter what Donald Trump does, they just hate him. Uh, and this is kind of what's going on. The basis of her reaction and this this uh, Instagram storm and the viral Instagram is her emotions. She's just, Megan's video spurred an emotional reaction in her. Okay, and so it went viral. And so she's kind of committed to her position. People in events, people, people close in your, she feels very invested in the royal family and in Megan. And so she's, She's very emotionally invested, and it's like part of her family. This is part of her life, deeply rooted life. She comments on the royals a lot. Hand in hand, all the people and electronics, the, the diamonds, uh, this four clubs, four leaf clover, it just happened, and she reacted. So 10, 11, 
she reacted with an Instagram. So she is she's a she's a social media influencer, someone that Meghan Markle wants to be. Meghan Markle is a social media influencer, whether you love her or hate her or anything in between. She's an influencer. And this lady, Emily Giffen, she's an influencer. She has a lot of pull. She's a famous author. Her book was made into a movie, which paid her a lot of money. Uh, she's an influencer. So she kind of really, really doesn't like Megan anymore. She did like Megan, but now she doesn't, and she just had an emotional reaction, and she just said it the way she saw it, and she influenced her people. So she kind of does have a little bit of Megan derangement syndrome going on, which is interesting because I'm not sure I really expected that. One of the major things she said is Meghan Markle was unmaternal. Did the public perceive Meghan as as unmaternal? She just didn't uh, show a close maternal uh, relationship with with Archie. Let's let's see, let's see if the public felt that Meghan and Archie were linked maternally. Because we're not asking about the truth. Because I did ask about whether or not they were linked maternally and I did I got that they were not and I even got the devil on Megan's side. But what is the public perception of this? Let's look at Megan and Archie. Let's see if the public thinks well, look how different this is turning out. Archie. Oh dear. Okay, does the public believe that Megan has a good maternal relationship with her son, Archie. Mother, Mother Earth, mother, literal mother, reacting to the mother, a disaster. 2227, cross the permanent family. So the public does believe that this is, Megan is the mother. Uh, they didn't like the way that Megan was reacting to Archie. And uh, the video kind of backfired. Okay, the, vid the video is kind of backfiring on Megan. It's, it's not showing a wonderful, loving, caring relationship uh, with Megan and Archie. Okay, the, the Ten Spades, the video didn't play well to the public. But they do believe that Megan is the mother. What's over here on Megan's side? Secrets, karmic relationship, inheritance. This is definitely, they believe that this Ar Archie is Megan's child. They absolutely believe this, but they're secrets. 13, 23, six clubs. Okay, definitely, they definitely believe that Archie is Megan's child, but something is fishy and there's secrets and they, she, they don't feel that Megan interacted well with Archie. And that's a bad thing because that's what she was trying to, to show that she had a close and loving relationship with Archie. But they, they feel like something is fishy. Nine diamonds, karmic shift. The communication created a big change in, in public perception. That's interesting. Nine is three hearts. Okay, so this sweet, beautiful uh, video on, on Archie's birthday, uh, it didn't quite come off the right way. Interesting. So it's not just some people saying, you know, hey, what about this? Hey, what about that? Unmaternal, you know, whatever. It's generally, it's in the general public. People feel that there's something kind of really fishy going on with Megan and Archie. Uh, I, I agree. I do also think that there's things are not what they appear. And I don't think that's, you know, from my last reading, this says this is a new Archie. This is not the same Archie as the one in South Africa. Although a very close approximation. Okay, they, uh, she, she, Emily Giffen said it was kind of the, the Megan show. Was this more about Megan than it was about Archie? Because Megan kept turning the book around. Archie was bored. He was fidgety. But that's how one-year-olds are. Okay, Archie picked up the, another book. And people are saying he said can't reach the book or something. And that's pretty advanced. Maybe he's more than one-year-old. I'll have to review the video again. But does the people, do, does the public feel that this was the Megan show and not really about Archie. Okay, because Oprah gave, they're, they're starting a book club 
you know, the Archie Book Club. And that's, that book is part of the Archie Book Club. So does the public feel is more about Megan than Archie? We got a yes. And in this tweet, she accused Megan of uh, acting. Emily and her friend in this conversation accused uh, Megan of acting and being phony. So is this more about Megan than it is about Archie? Does the public believe? Money and everything material, crossroad, two or more things, and exposure, nine, 14, four diamonds. Four diamonds and eight diamonds. It's about, it's about exposure and money. It's, yeah, it's about being famous. It's about, it's about being famous and about building your brand. That's what they believe it's about. They don't believe it's about the close relationship with her son. Yeah, they don't believe that. So uh, strength, mustard seed, and yes, do they believe it's more about Megan than it is about Archie? Yes, yes can often mean yes. Yes, this, this strong message, 21, six hearts, uh, karmic relationship. So she's using the, the foundation. This message about the foundation is, yeah, underlying is she's, she's using the, she's using Archie, she's using the family relationship to promote herself. That's what people believe, that Megan is using her Archie, Archie's birthday, to promote herself. Okay, now there was no happy birthday, there was no cake evident, Harry didn't show up, Harry was not mentioned, there's a disembodied voice, you know, like, happy birthday, Archie, you know, this... So a lot of people believe that this video was filmed long in advance and maybe in England based on the background, based on the very bland background. And they're saying that her teeth are different, uh, things like that. She wanted to show a very relaxed at home kind of, uh, appearance. She's not made up. She's not wearing makeup. Uh, there is a filter over it. Uh, so a lot of people use filters in the Instagram to make themselves look a little better. So there was a filter used. So was this video filmed long in advance before Archie's birthday? As people believe. Oh, what's that? Because again, uh, they really, Megan really needs to show the public Archie. Okay, and she did. And there's a firestorm that erupts about it. If she didn't show Archie, a firestorm would, you know, if she just showed a still picture sepia in black and white, wow, it would be worse. Okay, but this time she did show a video and there's, it still kicked off a viral tweet, a viral Instagram. So was this filmed before the birthday? Snake is the furthest seeing woman, heart, best in 24, 25, seven hearts, this direction, uh, planning, so a lot of, lot of planning went into this by the woman, very carefully planned. The snake is a very careful planning planner, sees very, very far in advance. So yeah, this was very carefully planned. So, and it was done in advance. Underneath, roadblock, incubus, succubus, and high tower, 15, 20, five spades. She recognized that it was a big problem that people were not seeing a live moving Archie and it was creating a bad relationship. And this is kind of like, this is like a business decision. So yeah, it was planned way in advance and they just recognized that they had to show us a live and moving and gurgling Archie. He didn't gurgle much this time. Uh, he didn't gurgle this time at all. So yeah, it was done in advance and planned long, long in advance. So they've been working on this. We didn't see Archie for eight months since Desmond Tutu. And, and how ironic is it? The only two times we've seen live video of Archie are both outside of the UK. And the UK people are very invested and that creates bad relationships. It created a bad relationship. All this not showing us Archie, you know, just show us Archie. But they can't. There's all kinds of things going on behind the scenes. That's why they're not showing us stuff. Okay, what was Emily Giffen's, let's review, what was Emily Giffen's motivation? 
she has Meghan Markle derangement syndrome. She's very emotionally attached. Uh, and she feels like she's very invested and attached. She loves the royal family. And she's upset at Meghan and Harry for the way they've acted. And they, she doesn't like what's going on with Archie. And it's going to take a lot to change her mind. And she's very, very emotional about it at this point. That's how people are. And that's good. And it's bad. Uh, and so she just reacted. She reacted very publicly. She's a, a, uh, uh, an influencer because she's very, she's kind of famous. She's as famous as Meghan was before Meghan became the Duchess of Sussex and joined the royal family. So she just reacted and a viral Instagram erupted. And I think if Caitlin Menza, a sugar, didn't, re-insta this, it wouldn't have gone viral. She her she provoked this. Caitlin Menza provoked this, not the other lady. Okay, so did the public feel that Megan had a good maternal, you know, she was accused of being non-maternal. Did the public feel that there was a good maternal, good interaction between uh, Archie and Megan? No, it was a disaster. They look at this and they're like, it, Megan is the mother, but no, this is very bad. They don't like the interaction that they saw. That's very interesting. And they feel like Megan is the mother again, very solidly the mother. So definitely the mother on Archie's side, definitely the mother, mother on Megan's side. But there's weird secrets going on. And this sweet presentation changed more people's minds against Megan. How interesting. Because... I'm not sure I would have thought that at first because I live kind of in a news bubble. We all kind of live in a news bubble and you hear what others around you uh, think and say. And my news bubble is, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, I would have thought that it went off okay, but the general public doesn't feel like it went off okay. Was this more about, does the public feel that this is more about Megan than it was about Archie. Definitely. Uh, it's all about money and foundation and building her brand and using Archie to do this. And that's what they don't like that. And so that colors their perception of if if there was a really good interaction, really loving and beautiful and uh, and kissy and huggy and and Archie is looking at her face while she's reading and touching her face and touching her chest, you know, touching the heart, touching the face. That's what babies do. They're connecting with you. You know, it was about the book. It wasn't about Megan and Archie. It was about the book. And that colors people's perceptions as well. So I, I think, you know, all the mothers who were watching it, they didn't like it. They didn't like that, those aspects of it. Was this filmed before Archie's birthday? Because we didn't hear happy birthday. There was no singing, no cake. There was no uh, Harry. Uh, we didn't see him. His name was not mentioned. Yes, this was planned way in advance. They perceived this as a big problem that needed, to, needed some attention uh, very officially. And so they planned it and they filmed it way in advance. So, hmm. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's very interesting to kind of dig into this because this is a big event. Like all of this, all of the the Megxit, all of them leaving the royal family kicked off with Africa. That was the seminal moment. They did the Africa tour. They hit it out of the park. They did a great job. Everybody loved it. And then Meghan and Harry started talking about their feelings and they made it all about themselves. That seminal moment has led to all of the, you know, that ball hitting the other balls and the, everything is moving around. That has led to this. Uh, and this is another seminal moment of change. Okay. And you see that in the nine diamonds and karmic shift. This has created another big change in public perception, just in the same way that, you know, Megan said, you know, people don't really ask me, how am I doing? You know, in the Africa thing, they're meeting these desperately poor people who really need help. And she's talking about herself. That really changed public perception. This is another one of those moments. So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. 
Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the very generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.